Uh, hello. Um, up there. There we go. <laughs> uh, oh, hi everyone, and welcome aboard. Uh, I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with. First mate Rick here, at your service, people. And since you were having some slowdown. Uh, yeah, normal. Yeah. Why are we having we a slowdown? I see yeah. it. Uh, let's see, Master. Uh, let's lower some of these. Um, but uh, yeah, welcome to Slime Rancher 2, the early access. It was released only two days ago or yesterday or something. Uh, let's see, applied. Hmm. Okay. What is... Let's put a... Let's lower all of these a bit. It is early access, so of course it's not going to be working at full capacity. There we go. One of those did it. Yeah, and uh, it, now you're yeah. moving normally again. <laughs> and yeah, I, I'm back to the brown coat mostly because uh, yeah, I, I was cleaning out a, a hard drive which I had copied a bunch of stuff over after, uh, when I was going to install my new motherboard. When well, I didn't know if it would allow me to you just save the data or have to re-import it. And apparently the blue coat avatar was among those. So yeah, I, I'm still going to have to find him again. <sighs> what do you mean? You just need to uh, find your coat? Uh, yeah. Anyways, for now though, yeah, welcome again to Slime Rancher 2. Normally, uh, <clears throat> Normally I would have done uh, the new main week game we usually do, or Shantae, but to be honest, I'm not awake. I'm not awake enough for either of those. So instead, let's uh, yeah, we're going to jump into Slime Rancher 2, which I'm pretty sure we said we would stream. Well, very, we would very likely stream after Slime Rancher 1 because Slime Rancher 1 is just a an adorable little fun game. Yeah, uh, he actually have a story even, which is gonna yeah. help if, uh, for us, and it's it's just in general really relaxing. Yeah. Okay, always nice to see some options, save icon, uh, which means that there's likely multiple save slots. Always nice as well for when different people use the same PC. But uh, yeah, let's see how all of this goes. Oh, hello. After a long day of slime branching, Beatrix Lebeau was enjoying a cool glass of Garrett's shoes as he watched sunset across the slime sea. Suddenly, a boat arrived at her dock with nothing inside but a mysterious letter. You've explored the far, far range from the dusty shores of the dry reef to the furthest reaches of the perilous glass desert. But there are worlds yet uncharted, Beatrix Lebeau. Rainbow Island awaits you. Climb board if you are ready for a new adventure. <laughs> it has a slime smiley on it. Beatrix excitedly boarded the boat and it took her across the slime sea. Eventually she saw an island unlike anything on the far, far range. Mountains, trees and grasses all in arrays of colors that dance and move like a dream. Or maybe she just took some acid along the way. Oh, and we're back to being stuttery, it seems. Yeah, but just to mention that. The other one interrupt your reading. <laughs> Oh uh, well. As she explored, she found an abandoned conservatory overlooking the rest of the island. Curiously, it was equipped with everything a slime rancher like her would ever need to wrangle slimes, start a farm, and build gadgets. <laughs> and so a new adventure begins. Beatrix tightens her boots, ready to her backpack, and set out to explore Rainbow Island and uncover its mysteries. And the first mystery is just who the hell sent that boat? And there we go. Right now, all right. Okay, yeah, definitely a very early access sense. Yeah, Apparently, it... uh, yeah. go on. Yeah, it it needs optimization, and that is why some uh, games. Uh, well, that's typically why games would go into early access. Oh, hello, we have uh, idle animations now. Yeah, can I like? I like they haven't changed the art style too much, if at all. If not, just like they keep the art style just. Give it a little bit of extra polish. Yeah, just, just look at the backpack. 
with the, the lights yeah. shining on it. Yeah, they are... <laughs> okay, standard I, controls. I like this. Jump and sprint. Again, again, we live... No, we've been in recent years living in an age where you can keep, in general, the same art style for longer periods of time since... Let's face it, we haven't uh, had the rule... Uh, what do we call it? Graphic revolution? In a while? Yeah. But yes, yeah. it has gotten better and better, just not... Well, as drastic as it was between the 90s and early 2000s. Yeah. Let's see. Slimepedia has been simplified quite a lot. And their horror coral hue is scientifically proven to be the color of cheer, which is basically a line that was in the first game as well. But we can get more on them. Let's see. Slimology. Pink slimes are the most common slime found in the far far range. They're colorful, you know, docile, and the easiest of all slimes to ranch. A pink slime will eat anything you put in front of them. Though they have no favorite fruit, and they're poor to the least valuable of all slimes. Anything. Hmm. Okay. Don't go getting ideas or I'll throw you in with them. No, no, I'm not going to throw you in them if you're aware of that. I was wondering... We do have a lot of... Uh, of uh, food scraps of what we could use. True. Okay. It also shows when... It also shows what they like uh, when we mouse over them, so that is also nice. That is very open. nice. Uh, yeah, again, I like they kept the all style. Just it, the only the difference is it looks slightly more polished up. Uh, th that's mm -hmm. it, really, I, and I love that. Yeah, sometimes it works to change up an art style, but it is a big ass gamble. And well, the art style of Slime Grancer One was simple enough and nice enough, so yeah, all they really needed to do was polish it up. Yeah, since if, like Slime is, the, is one of the games we had a very good art style to begin with. There we go, Lords. That's what we get when we feed a slime something, or it's something it'll eat. Okay. There we go. We just made a bit of cash. And what is this here? Okay, okay. this an, an in-world Slimepedia. Right. Uh, see, it looks like they brought some old assets over. Just old assets that have been a bit more... Again, the word polish comes to mind. Carrots, of course. One of those is going to get lucky to grab that. And we have yeah. a hen here. Yeah, and also I agree with Helena that there's nothing wrong to change art style, but there's always a gamble. Yeah, but just, sometimes just you look at, kinda yeah. need to. Yeah, just right look at uh, how you can take you can take a look at the uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Way, the Wind Waker for that, and that people didn't like a lot of people didn't like it, saying that it was too kiddy. But it did still prove to be one of the best uh, Zelda games out there in, since the uh, classic time, uh, yeah, since the classic days. Yeah, I feel recorded uh, that I, as a kid I did not like it, but nowadays I feel like, all right, it has an artistic feel to it, and it made sense in a more, for, but uh, everybody was uh, put on. I forgot there was a v, Wii or something. Uh, GameCube. It GameCube did was get... it? Thank you. I, th I think I don't think it went. Yeah, I don't think it was put on the Wii, but it, it has been. It did get a, an upgraded port to do for the Wii U, and we will eventually one day stream that. Yeah, actually, I think they have been ported to Switch as well. Good chance. Let's see. I, I like this place a lot already. It, it feel this. To be honest, the the yeah, the, the, the seems my tongue is asleep as well. Uh, the range, the ranch, yeah, the ranch uh, in the first game did feel a bit empty. And hello, Rainbow Fields. This feels a lot more personalized, like it has been actively lived in for a good long, long while. It's 
the rainbow field, shifting colors like a dream, fading just as quickly. That's Every a day... good description. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Every day is one perfect, unending, lazy afternoon in the rainbow fields, the kind that would make anyone want to stretch out across its pras prismatic arasas and uh, while, away the way while away the hours watching marshmallow clouds drift slowly across the sky. Happy, hoppy cotton slimes pop from their underground warrens and bounce around about the glades, always hoping to, hoping to land in a patch of delicious water lettuce. Okay. Careful explorers will also find ample reserves of jelly stone along the hills and cliffs, as well as spouts of deep brine near the banks of the slime sea. Okay, this is nice, because, yeah, the, a bit late game in Slime Rancher 1, we got those resource collectors. And it was a bit of trial and error finding out what the hell you can get from where. Yeah. <laughs> Watching it all are the giant smiling slime statues done in the landscape, basking in the golden sun and hinting at the wondrous stone structures that Rainbow Island has yet to reveal to its visitors. Okay. I'd say the description alone makes it feel like the perfect stream for today since... Yeah. Did, uh, when did you wake up? Uh, let's see, it's, uh, the first time I woke up today was four hours ago, so I went right back to hell to sleep. I'm telling me I accidentally woke up earlier. No, it wasn't you. Someone else woke me up. Uh, Alright. Okay. But still, just description sounds like the perfect game for you at the moment, and in me as well, since... I think I'm healthy, but I'm still having a bit of a sick after effect, and I... Yeah, really? I had a code that you don't fully trust if it's gone or not. For as quick you think it's gone, and do something if it hit you with a brick. Yeah. This, this is already really nice, that the Slime Sea actually has waves running through it. Yeah, I, okay. When I say they are happy they... Kept the art style and just polished up. It has obvious improvements enough to show why it's its own game and not uh, just a DLC. Yeah, that that is an issue with games uh, sometimes in these modern times. Oh, hello. It has been quite a bit since we found a Gordo. I look very happy to see you. Yeah, it looks like this time we don't need resource extractors to collect the resources or maybe we can still get those and plonk those on there to auto harvest or something but it looks like we can just cool. harvest directly from it yep. oh, hello and here we have our first new slime cotton slimes <laughs> a hip scop a jump and oh it's gone <laughs> Uh, cotton slimes seem to have adapted to life among the tall grasses of Rainbow Island by developing a spring in their step that allows them to leap far higher into the air than any other slime. Once airborne, these fluffy-tailed slimes are always hope hoping their hops land them in patches of delicious water lettuce. Cotton slimes are always looking for an excuse to leap high into the air, be it to escape a coral because they are agitated or for secret bunny things. Either way, they ensure that ranchers stay on their toes, which would still mean you're not tall enough to reach them. <laughs> Cotton plorts are, have an inexplicably fluffy quality to them, making them a great alternative to cotton, which is not native to the far, far range. If one desires a quiet, isolated life on Rainbow Island, but still have soft pillows, warm sweaters, and lots of dry socks, they would do well to keep cotton slimes happily hopping about their ranch. Yeah, this is also um, just fun, their descriptions, and oh, there's... It's, damn it, it's a, it's a rabbit. <laughs> it's a, a rabbit uh, slime. Oh, my Largo. <laughs> uh, was, was Beatrix uh, reaching out to pet them? Uh, <laughs> was it just oh, back sure. to an idol? I was wondering if I should read out the text aloud or not. <laughs> so I forgot to look what she was doing with her hands. Yeah, let's just say that she wants to pat them. <laughs> Who doesn't? I... Can you hear what you? The... Okay. Hello. 
lamp. Uh, can I? Can we get to know a bit more about the? Uh, well, who else was he first? That made the ruins and all. Yeah, that is. We didn't get too much about that in Slime Rancher One, so maybe we'll get some more hints at that. Yeah, for if there's one thing I do like about Slime Rancher, it's Axel has a mystery. It, it has more than just one reason to keep going with this, and yeah, let's put all of you in here. And we let's see. Okay, now it shows how much we have and how much it costs. Will be almost everything we have, but all the same, there we go. And we'll keep these happy for a bit, and makes these ye jealous. <laughs> okay, let's gather up some of their plorts. Yeah. We Wait, we can make. Slime beds and slime clothing. Maybe. Or did I miss that? I, I think they were hinting at that from the. You can. What the cottons and the slimes are for. And I, uh, I suspect maybe. it's from the floors and not themselves. Yeah. Actually. Actually the, now I don't know. Is that weirder? You, that you make clothes of the floors, which is. Um, I don't know how we should describe plort. Uh, they are digestive products. Yeah. Uh, I just unsure if it's somehow proper or not to just call it poo. <laughs> but That's... I also feel like it would be more disturbing if you just skin the slime for it, which somewhat does not make sound like it would work. Yeah, you can't really slime something that's gelatinous. Yeah, there, there are some games where you sort of can skin a slime. Uh, looking at Wizardry 8. Those are a bit more disturbing. Like, you actually able to cut through the slime's outer layer and reveal its brain. Which is from their <laughs> dice. And... Hydro turrets. An aggressive, a defensive turret that will automatically target tar and blast them with water. Okay, Ooh, yeah. so this this time we don't need the upgrades to unlock the pods, which is okay. probably something that annoyed people as well. That and actually, that's kind of also good. That it means we don't need to redo the entire your first game from scratch. Yeah. Let's see. Phosphor slime, the softly glowing heralds of starlight. Phosphor slimes come out at night, flying about the moonlit range. Upon their translucent wings. Phosphor slimes have a luminescent slime core that pulses with a soft glow, making them easy to spot. It is for this reason branches sometimes refer to them as low stars. They eat fruits and their favorite is Q-berry. Honestly, I would be interested in how uh, cubic uh, strawberries would taste. I think I might have said that in the first game as well. <laughs> yeah, I think the taste is same, just... It'd be an experience of its own just to eat a cube one. Yep. Uh, I guess you could say the taste would be squared. Oh, for love of. <laughs> you know what? what? I, I, I'm gonna throw you boots in front of a pink slime. Phosphor slimes have special needs compared to your typical slime. A phosphor slime and its plorts will quickly vanish if exposed, yeah, exposed to sunlight. Meaning a rancher could quickly lose an entire coral's worth of phosphor slimes if they're not careful. Ranchers must either vac them up before daybreak or keep phosphor slimes in a place that is perpetually dark, like a cave. The luminescent compound found within phosphor plorts can produce light for over 100 years, making it an incredibly eco-friendly form of illumination on Earth. Cities across the globe are slowly switching over to phosphor lights, saving trillions of gigawatts of daily energy daily. Plus, if you're up at the stuff in your hair, it glows and looks really cool. Oh dear. And also, it feels like something we need on Earth right now. Yeah. Yeah, with the... Uh... Okay, he's gone to join his brothers in the ocean. With the ongoing... Uh, yeah. And... I'll tell a bit of this uh, for my family. Uh, I have an uncle uh, who... <clears throat> 
who owns a, a restaurant, only due to the increasing energy prices, they've decided to sell it off. Sadly, which it, because it is a really good little restaurant. Nothing massive or anything, but still. And, uh, yeah, I... Oh, but hello. Research drone. Accessing gg.log. Well, here we are again. I'm sending the drones out to all of their original scouting locations. Once I confirm the conditions are the same, I'll get to work. This place? I still remember being in awe of these rainbow fields. It felt like being in a beautiful dream. And I guess in a way it was, because it ended much too soon. Okay. That's... That sounds almost concerning. And also... Are some of the slimes here right? For a foot or so, a cotton slime almost splattered on the ground. Like... Oh wait, that's how they move. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> I got um, a bit moved the word for it. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Having the cotton slimes have their favorite food be carrots would be too easy. So instead they like whatever... Uh, the sea sweets. Oh, hello, we have a first tar. Actually, I think actually rabbits love lettuce more than carrots. There we go. Cleaned up. Lord, I, see. Remember, like, I see I seen how rabbits react to carrots, but I also see how rabbits react to lettuce and salads. Oh boy, they love that stuff. I wouldn't be surprised, yeah. Let's see. Oh, now we're wandering back towards the place. And let's, yes, to drop off some stuff. Feed the, the pink slimes before they revolt. Oh dear. Gotta say, the music is quite impressive so far. I, I was listening to the main menu theme for quite a bit, and it is good. Yeah, it is damn good, dude. I noticed... Okay, this is not a criticism, just a concern. Like, if you try to play this when you're sleepy, um, I will yeah. not blame anyone that accidentally fell asleep to this. Uh, let's see, we can't carry these around the entire time, so let's just let them roam free in the time that they have. Yeah, and by that I mean people that it's not bad you fall asleep, or that that is poor, so I mean it's... It's good and very soothing. Yeah, very it's almost calming. like a lullaby. Kinda. Which would probably make it a bad thing to play whilst I'm wait, trying to wake up. But oh well. Yeah, though it is also relaxing. You, you, that is, like, let's be honest, when you newly awake and start playing some games, some music you may normally like may suddenly become very... Uh, please, stop! <laughs> Not now, I don't have the energy! Uh. Uh, let's see, that's the drone we just found. Let's go this way. Uh, yeah, I think you know what I mean. Yeah, and hello, that's a bunch of chickens over there that I saw plop up. Like, when you're about to go to bed or, or to wake up, a bit more soothing music is probably a bit more preferred. <laughs> Let's grab those. Oh, I already had a few equipped. <laughs> I thought, where the hell did they go? Let's see. Okay. Looks like we'll have quite a bit to work with. Ooh. And a lot of unexplored area that is likely to be added on later. Yeah, and I guess it'd be more island hopping than before. Yeah. Like, the other islands we were at least somewhat connected to tunnel... Wait. Oh, well. There were bridges and such to some minor islands, and just uh, land bridges and such. And just one very separate island you had to use some teleportation device for. Here I sort of suspect there will be more teleportations. True, or we get to use the boat to move around. The boat? That's yeah, the one next to the yeah, the one next to the ranch. Oh right, it's... I forgot that. <laughs> water lettuce. The only glass of water that she's <laughs> that has your daily dose of fiber. 
Like a desert bloom or a deep sea pearl, the water lettuce is a small miracle. The dry season can be difficult for wildlife on the far, far range, but through the humble water lettuce, nature has found a way to provide. The water stored inside the plant prevents its leaves from wilting under the sun's rays, and in turn the crisp leaves keep the water cool and protected. Perfect for a thirsty, you know, thirsty critter in search of relief from the heat. Deposit the water lettuce okay. into a garden's depositor, and you'll have a large water lettuce crop of your very own. Okay, we should probably try and start with stuff like that a lot earlier in this game. Because we only got to that towards the end. I believe it. Refinery links. Refinery links conveniently transport resource and plots to the refinery, where they can be used exclusively for slime and science in the slime science lab. Okay. Okay, I, I, I like this. I see what they're doing. They remember what you learned indeed in the last game. But and instead of shows, playing... Yeah. Oh, hello. Sorry. Instead of playing for hours and hours to get back to that, they give you a good early list start to restart that early on. Yep. Let's see. I was so in over my head when I first started here. I remember hauling Jellystone back to the conservatory by hand because I was so excited. Breathless and sweating, I was going about everything all wrong, but I was happy. There's little time now, so I will need these refining links if I'm going to be efficient. This time I'm going to do it right. Okay. Might as well put those in there and grab you. Tabby slime, those stripes, that tail, that wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Tabby, sl Tabby slimes share many curious similar yeah, similarities to domesticated house cats of Earth. Uh, with their perky ears, striped backs, and swaying tails, you'd almost mistake them for a true feline, if they weren't made entirely of gooey slime, of course. A tabby slime generally doesn't mean any harm to a rancher, but like their spiritual cat cousins, often cause great deals of chaos anyway. Tabby slimes love to steal things they don't eat, like fruits and veggies, resulting in lots of unattended Lago transformations on the range. Tabby plorts are a key ingredient in a variety of performance-enhancing products that grant the consumer a surge of the tabby slime's signature energy and exuberance. And while athletes the world over you know, take them to gain an edge, prolonged use often results in uncontrollable butt wiggles. Another less desirable signature of the tabby slime. <laughs> what wiggles? Wait, like, was that a new part or was that that? I remember they mentioned it was used by athletes. Just to remember about the butt part there. Yeah, I, I think in the previous game what they said was uh, it would cause it would. Uh, it would uh, quote unquote gift the athlete's feline features. Oh dear. Hello? Wait, Fila. The gentleman have turned the athletes into Nikku people. <laughs> Basically. And we got a healing station from that one, it seems. Right. And it's dead end. Like, yeah, there's not really much of combat, but all things that can hurt you, like the tar slimes, and I... Okay. Well, someone jumps the island? Uh, the slimes can just reintegrate with the slime sea, but uh, I don't think chickens can. It was a chicken? Oh. What the chickens did? Yep. It chickened out. Uh... Oh, come on. Let's see. Okay, it looks like we've hit the end oh, of this path. So let's head back and see what other routes we can find. Oh, can I wonder? Hmm? Cat slime and oh. bunny slime. Hmm. I thought I bounced them over there. Uh, two oh, berries. Dear. We want some of these. Ah, I think I updated the cube berries a little bit. Uh, there again, as we said many times before, polish. Yep. Let's see, another map a bit. Okay, the rainbow fields. Okay, and it marked the Gordo and the refinery link. That is always nice. The Gordos were linked before. 
Refinery links would appear if you put them down yourself. And it's, there, it, it keeps track of how many of the orbs we found. I guess they, yeah, they probably have listened to feedbacks. Yeah, which is always so a I, good thing, uh, thing for developers to do. Yeah, so I suspect this is a continuation of the story for both story and mystery. <laughs> but also, I want to just, as they progress the series, I would not be surprised it's going to be become a trilogy or something. I they certainly wouldn't print. mind if, if they can polish it up even further. Yeah. Now, is this the way back? No, nope, this is a dead end. It is going to be... One thing I'm already feeling is that the wall, if that's the, yeah, the areas seem to be more open instead of as linear as they were before. So it's going to take some getting used to to know figuring out where the hell to go. Because, yeah, in the in Slime Rancher 1, it was in most of the areas were rather linear. Hello. It yeah, was dude. very hard to get lost. Wait, no, 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 Hilia, mm. don't, you not get to pull that card. You got lost all the damn time. <laughs> yeah, but it was easy to find somewhere to know where to go next. <laughs> yes, you still get got lost even <laughs> after that. You complain about getting lost until you start to realize you can make portals here and there that helped you yeah. a lot. Hello, Dave. I, I feel like the, this more openness, being less linear, might make things a bit easier to navigate. Since it doesn't feel like you're walking inside a labyrinth anymore. Could be, yeah. Let's see. This has power chip used by, at the fabricator to upgrade the Vax power core. Okay, so instead of having to buy our upgrades, we have to find and make them ourselves. And, yeah, this is a bit okay. jarring. So uh, I'll stop doing that. Early access. Actually, have we shown any early access game here before? On stream? Um, Shipbreaker counts, I think, because it wasn't fully updated yet. Yeah, and it... I think, yeah, I think Shipbreaker is officially out now. Yep, it has been fully released. Of course, from what I hope. And it's a fast report, okay. Looks a lot more actually shiny than they did in the last game. Yeah. So yeah, another upgrade. And let's see, where's a tabby? Because now we can see how a... Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> how a tabby bunny looks. Or a cotton tabby. Yeah, damn curious for... I know it's a... a semi troop in Japan, the cat bunny hybrid. Ah, there we are. Sit still, you little. <laughs> okay. <tabby. laughs> okay, and the sun is rising. Adorable. Yeah, I'd say the phosphor slams got a real big update in how they looked and the shine. Yeah, the, I think it almost. Uh, yeah, I think they just slimes in general could upgrade. And yeah, they got a little bit more. Again, polished. A bit better animation and all that. But they still look like them. Just, again, polished and improved. Yep. And that is really what you. Uh, all you can really ask for in a game. Or in a sequel. That it, it is the same, but more and better in general. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but let's head back now. Put up a few farms um, this way. So we can grow our own fruits. Yeah. I am kind of surprised we don't have a mini-map. Yeah, it could be something that they add in at some point. No, it also no. could be that uh, they don't want to crowd the UI for you. Yeah, maybe something that can be toggled on and off or something. That would probably be the best idea. Yeah, I agree with you there.
Okay, we have 280. I hear some activity downstairs. Let's see. First off, let's sell these. And yeah, prices for these go up and down. Nope. Right, while he's distracted, I will feed his boots to the pink slimes. Now, visitor coming to check in. Oh, all right. Let's see. Oh, and we've already had our first escapee, it seems. And OBS disconnected. Okay. Let's see. Bring this up. The good thing that it actually notifies now. Hmm. Actually, I think during, I think in recent streams, uh, Discord, this yeah, not Discord, but OBS disconnected a few times. So yeah, let's just wait until it it has reconnected, if it will. Also, just the music. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> oh, the <laughs> innate screenshot option. Is Twitch down or something? Okay, just going to keep waiting on this. Uh, might as well talk about something. Um, is it, uh, we already talked a bit about Possibly you know, about how Twitch has been screwing over its creators again. Or have we? Uh, I'm not awake enough to remember, but just to recap if needed. Uh, yeah, Twitch has announced that they're getting greedy, that they will. Uh, <clears throat> that they're lowering the percentage of revenue that people are getting from uh, advertisements and bits, I, I believe. Or, but they seem to be hinting towards that as well. Uh, they're lowering how much will go to the creator and more to them. And yeah, people aren't too happy about that. So there's a bit of an exodus going on of smaller streamers going to YouTube streaming from what I've heard at least. I uh, can't fully confirm. I'm mostly working well with secondhand stuff. And yeah, I'm thinking about possibly moving to YouTube as well or perhaps I think it is possible to stream to both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. And one of the advantages streaming on YouTube would have is that it would automatically store the videos after the stream is done. Or supposedly. I'll need to do more research on it. It's taking a long time to reconnect. Yeah, you can't see it on screen, I believe, if you can see anything at all right now, because there's another screen on the window with OBS, and that has caused the, the widescreen before. Hmm. Uh, let's see, let's give it another few minutes, and if it can't reconnect, we'll have to presume that Twitch crashed or something, or got DDoSed. I wouldn't be surprised if someone was angry enough to do that. So let me just bring that up then. Let's see. Which down? Oh. Hmm. Oh, it's the in my internet entirely. <laughs> that explains, and it explains why the tier was being so quiet. Apparently, the internet is out here for now. Uh, let's see. Do I still have connection with my phone? Yes, so what the hell is going on then? Okay. Let's see. Look here. Hmm. Offline. Oh, no phone is trying to connect with Discord. Hmm. 
Seems I'm having to act as entertainment on my own then for a bit, so whilst this fixes itself. Somebody better not have pulled a damn cord. Hm. Okay, only three frames lost to rendering lag. Average time to render frame, 1.6 milliseconds, FPS 60. Uh, that is also because I think I still left the limiter of 60 FPS on in the NVIDIA options. CPU usage, 1.8%. I should try and have this more on screen. At the moment, usually I stream games in windowed mode, so that I can have stuff around it. But since this was short notice and starting this, I didn't test if it would fully work with windowed mode. Not that I expect it wouldn't, since it's more of a problem with older games. But yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let, I'm just going to... I'm just going to pull a cable and reconnect it. Let's see, still connecting. Okay, router time. Hmm. Okay, why is it not working? Connections are available. Troubleshoot. Let's see. All network adapters. Collecting results. Resolving problems. Reset the Ethernet 2 adapter. Verifying. Da -da -da. Ugh, I'm not awake enough to try and disassemble whatever is going on here, so let's hope that this fixes this. <laughs> let's see. Da -da -da. Alien, did your internet just die? Only for PC. Phone. Work. Okay, show me a list of available networks. Oh. Oh, I see it's this issue. It can't find or the network. Uh, mm -hmm. That's odd. My my phone has found, has the network and, and is connected. So why is the PC refusing to find it? Let's see. Uh, hmm. Okay. Uh, if I recall correctly, my computer has both a Wi-Fi option and a hard cable, yeah, landline cable option connecting to the router. So why the hell are both failing? 
Let me try the cable again. If this continues, we might have to cut it here. Go. Cable pulled and attached. Now give it some time to restore itself. And still nothing. Though we do have. Hmm. Let's see. What was the password again? Let's see if that was the correct connection yeah, passwords. Nope. Hmm. Is this variant? No. Third attempt. Also, no. Is this even our network or is it just one with an extremely similar n number? It looks like it. Hmm. Okay, why the hell are you not finding... Oh. Okay, airplane mode just completely disconnected everything. Including my freaking headset. Okay, connect it again. There we go, music back. Okay, it's not working as it should though, so... You know, now it's back to normal. Hmm. Let's see, playback sounds. Hmm. Okay. Hmm, yeah, we'll have to call it here then. Uh, I'm not continuing on without Drakir. If the internet reconnects quickly enough, uh, I'll probably start her up again. But otherwise, uh, yeah, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later for this half-awake stream. <laughs> uh, I expect we'll be returning to this game from time to time, it, especially if, uh, yeah, I'm going to have issues being awake like this. So, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, not a full stream, like uh, only f 50 minutes or so. But better something than nothing. Hopefully next time, tomorrow... Uh, actually, tomorrow would be Showcase Sunday. <clears throat> but maybe for the sake of it, we'll change up things. For now, though... Uh... Yeah, thank you for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then.